smoothness kind of thing towards it. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the whole the whole structure thing. Um yeah, so I was looking into uh the different structures that are in why aren't, why aren't I going up? Hello? Haunch Crow, what are you doing? Use this freaking bird in this version. Man, jeez. Trying to talk to the people, and you're not letting me talk to the people. There we go. Okay. Go. Okay, maybe... Oh, is this that flying stamina thing? That might be what it is. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, so the thing is, is that like, if you... Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go back on track now, now that I know something is working now. Uh, so the thing is, is that when while I was uh, going around, testing around different mods and stuff like that, and trying to find out if we can add, like, cool structures here and there kind of thing, I accidentally ended up only finding, like, only finding out that there is only three gyms in this version. You want to know what they are? Uh, fire, grass, and ground. Now... The only gym that I have ever been able to find has been the grass gym. So if we're able to find the fire gym and the ground gym, I will be happy. I have seen the grass gym about like 30 times. And I even used the slash locate button to find gyms. I even used it in like areas where I would consider having a ground and a uh, ground and or a uh, fire gym. I still find, uh, like, I still find a grass gem because it teleports you to a forest. Ooh. Got some cherish balls. That's nice. Yeah, I never really properly explored this. I did grab a schematic of this, but I don't know actually what it is. It appears the wedding party is fashionably late. I do hope they enjoy their trip here, carried by our flying Pokemon. Is the flying Pokemon a Swana by any chance? Because this looks like a Swana. I gotta say though, I really like this this boat. It looks like a very cool uh, looking boat. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to check something, but I can't remember what it was. I'm gonna eat some of the. Mm -hmm. I talked to you and it clicked that I should do it. Oh right, 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 yeah. I know what it was. All right. Uh, multiplayer. No, where is it? Here. Oh, okay. So I did change it back. Okay. Uh, remove, remove. There we go. Perfect. We don't need any death points. Ooh, love ball. Nice. Are you bloody kidding me? How? How? What? Right, yeah, this is a bit weird. I wonder if this is a bug or not. Okay, I'll kind of explain. So, for some reason, you can't interact with the fridge in survival, but you can in spectator mode, if that makes sense. I haven't checked with creative mode, but I'm sure it'll probably just end up working no matter what. It's just something that's really strange and something that I found, and I was like, okay. We got some rare candies. Nice. Yeah. Wow. This is... I really like this. Man, this this boat is really, really good for us. Oops. Hold on. I just... Uh, I'm so used to having the backpack on the B button. Yeah, I'll just store every Pokemon item in here. <laughs> for now. So that, like, everything's in here. I'll have to... Oh, that means I have to go get a backpack mod. I really didn't want to do that. I thought this one was just going to save all our problems. It kind of did, but it kind of isn't as well. Got some 
lapis is pretty good. We got some of that. Cool. Oh, black wood. We got an icicle plate. Very cool. Very cool. I just want to explore this world pretty much. Uh, as I said, I do have the blacksmithing base uh, somewhere, so we can actually go do that. But as I said, though, there's only like three gyms in here, and I can only ever find one. Shulker? Oh my word. I'm taking that shulker. <laughs> I'm taking that shulker. Uh, yeah, you can, you can keep everything else. I don't really need anything else. Wow, this place looks at, like, this place looks immaculate. I love this. Like, this little stuff is kind of, like, why I like uh, mods in general. Like, even in, like, Oblivion, I love mods because they add something to the game rather than... Uh, doing then rather than doing like normal things like adding just items and stuff like that that's why i like quest mods more than anything else is because they add something new for you to do like even if you've already played that mod before like it still gives you something to do rather than you just going oh yes i randomly found uh this one house that's now automatically mine it's like, okay, buddy. What is this? A Bruxish? Well, we don't really have anything that can deal with a Bruxish. I mean, technically we do. We have like three Pokemon. Actually, Brux... Wait, we can deal with Bruxish. I have Grenier... No, it doesn't have Dark Balls. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, I do. It's like, no, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> So I'll have to figure out why Game Shark's not working. Um, doesn't really matter either way. I mean, this version's a bit different anyway, so I don't know exactly how it works. But it's fine. It's not that big of a deal anyway. Whoa, that's a bit too fast. I'm wondering if, if the mount Pokemon have specific speeds and such. it kind of feels like they do all right i'm gonna try and journey around here but i'm gonna try and make this i'm gonna call this home for now there we go there we go uh so same rules as before we were only allowed to use well i mean I, i'm changing it a little bit because it's usually only just me on the server I'll use it only like if we die kind of thing to teleport to where we were and uh, only if we're like exploring kind of thing right like if we're like exploring like 30,000 blocks north I'd rather not have to explore 30,000 blocks north to get back to where we were I want to try and find that thing that I want to find because that's actually really good Oh, we found another one. <laughs> Wait, is it another one or is it the same one? No, the Master Ball is still there. So that's actually kind of interesting. Okay. Thank you. A terrain extender. Nice. Eh, I'm only going to pick up stuff that I kind of want. I'm not going to pick up random junk that I'm not going to need. Although I will eat this cake. Yummy. The, 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 the bride and groom are probably going to come here and go, what happened to our stuff? What do you mean? It's like, well, it looks like somebody just kind of ate some of the cake. It's like, what? Well, I mean, there was a random trainer that came by not too long ago. There we go. That, nice. So this is another one that gives you some really good items, too. Feather Falling 3. That's actually really nice. Is 3 the highest for Feather Falling? Or is it 4? I don't remember. I know it's one of them. We got a bunch of fish. Cool. Just like the other boats where they gave me a bunch of fish. And I really liked it. Which is a mailbox. I don't know why there is a mailbox there, though. It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange that there's a mailbox there. Anyway, 
Uh, we're going to go back to town. Well, no, we're not, not going to go back to town now. But at some point, we're going to have to head back to town in order for us to start offloading some of this stuff. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these random stacks of stuff. Okay, so let's go grab, put that in there, put that in there. You buckets of lava are going to be very interesting. Like, I don't understand why there's buckets of lava in the first place. It had in an area that's supposed to be for love and marriage. That's kind of weird. Do you take this random person to be your husband with this lava? It's like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. I mean, if they're gonna make if they're gonna make a version of this for one point sixteen, then technically they could have ported it over to one point seventeen or one point eighteen just to make it a lot nicer. Because I think uh, is it one point? Yeah, because one point seventeen has a lot of the cool stuff that I like to use, and I th I think one point nineteen no 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 one point eighteen kind of thing is like the finisher for the one point seventeen update. So, yeah. I wonder if they're above water all the time or if they're not. Because I think I don't really I don't really know. Oh, I should probably change the difficulty too. Difficulty to peaceful. Or not a peaceful, uh hard, 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 hard. Hard hard. <laughs> I was like, ah, peaceful. And I was like, no, wait, it's supposed to be hard difficulty. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be hard difficulty. I forgot. This pink island. Mm, not really seeing anything up there at the top. Not even seeing that cool thing that I found on single player. Also, I did see uh, the water and the, uh, the dark tower, like for Kubfu and stuff. They actually have trainers now. I am happy. Because I thought it was kind of weird though that those towers, you could literally just walk up and grab the scroll and then leave. Instead of like needing to fight someone. You could just walk up, go, mine now, and then leave. I thought it was really strange. But now they actually added it, so it's good. I also was able to port uh, Rosaria Base over to 1.16. Surprisingly. The only thing is that like it doesn't have the light blocks that it usually has and most of the 1.17 and above items are gone. Probably. I don't know. Well, they shouldn't even be there technically because this isn't 1.17, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is kind of weird. I don't really know. I don't really know why my inventory moves all out, but this is kind of weird. Why is there random lily pads out in here? Let's go, Bonch Crow. Let's see if we can find that one base or that one thing that I like. That I like explored on single player and then I found something weird out about it. Then I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. And then I left because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. But it is very cool. I want to see if they updated the dens so that they're much easier. Phoebus? I think that's a Phoebus. Uh, we don't really have anything that can deal with a Phoebus, I don't think. But, yeah, we should be fine. I'll use Greninja. Should be fine. But, uh... What? Okay. That's an extra sensory. Oh. That's a bit weird. I was gonna say, did it just keep attacking us? <laughs> Hello? Game? No. Good job, Good Ninja. 
it seemed kind of weird though that it looked like it attacked us like five times in a row I don't know it just looked kind of weird all right so the dens they look easier but I'm not 100 but I'm not 100% convinced I'm wondering if it's just because like they they probably got a lot of complaints about uh the raids beforehand do i have a bad one here is there a red one around here somewhere no there we go is that a giant pumpkin Oh man, I I love different. Uh... Yeah, so this one doesn't use uh, biomes of plenty anymore. It uses uh, a different uh, one in order to create these beautiful biomes. Ooh, what's that? Is that a wishy washy? If I can, thank you. No, it's a barboach. Okay, uh, we should be able to handle a barboach. Uh, again, Greninja. <laughs> Oh great, you're gonna you're gonna ruin us right now. Agron may be able to do something. Oh yes, you keep spinning there, buddy. Ooh. Oops. That's kinda weird though that the Pokemon stays outside even after battle. That's a bit weird. <laughs> 